Hello everyone, welcome to 3ddesignacademy.com. In this lesson, we will learn about the break curve at key point tool and the join curves tool within the key point curve toolbox. So both tools can be accessed under curves, key point curve toolbox, and you'll be able to see the, uh, see the tool over here. Now this is the break curve at key point tool as, um, as you can see in the name. And the, if you click and hold, you'll be able to see the join curves tool. So it's the same uh, as the name suggests, so you can use this tool to break, uh, either break or join the curve, the key point curve, uh, without affecting the history. So let's just go ahead and I'm just going to put a circle here like this. And if I just use the break curve at key point tool, you uh, what you can do is you can click on this little blue square right here in order to break the curve. So if I want to just break this curve into this piece right here, like this. Now do notice that you will, because it's a circle, um, basically it just halves it. And depending on how you cut it, you can segment it in a different way. For example, in this case, because I cut it over here, it actually segmented this piece and this piece into halves. So the position of the blue square or the key point is a little bit different. So let me just show you guys another example. So same curve and you'll notice that the CV, the beginning and the end is here. So I'm just going to use the break tool to cut it here like this. So now it's been cut in half. So you'll be able to see the two curves over here. And if I break it again, I can cut this into quarters. And if I just get rid of the CVs or turn them off, you'll notice the structure is a little bit different from this one to this one. So you just got to be mindful of that. And one of the best thing about this is that it still retains the properties. So if I just go to attributes, you can still change this as you need. So let's say I need the uh, radius to be a little bit smaller. Instead of 380, maybe I'll make it 350. It still retains uh, this attribute. Whereas if you were to just cut it using either extend, uh, it will not. So uh, now that we've explored the break curve uh, at key point tool, we can uh, let's go ahead and join them back up. So actually, in order to do that, let me just change all of these into 360. Wait, oh, 350. So I'm just going to make this 350, 350 over here, and 350 over here. Okay, so now I'm just going to click on the join. Uh, now, when you're joining curves, uh, key point curves, you got to make sure that uh, it is actually positional. So, and you can just click on the boundary. So right now, this, uh, the end of the curve is over here and here. And for this one, it's over here and here. So you just have to click on the blue square right here. And now it's back to a single curve. Now that said, however, it retains the properties of two curves. And let me just do the whole circle and show you guys what uh, something else that happens. So now it's joined like this and it's joined like that. So you'll see that it's actually divided uh, even though it's a single curve, it's the CV structure is a little bit different. So it became a three degree curve, uh, oops, it became a three degree 10 span curve instead of the original, which was let me just put it here. The original was a six and 19. Now it's a three and 10. It's kind of interesting how this happens, but, um, and also you get a, a set of four different uh, attributes. So if you change this to 300, you'll notice that it breaks and it becomes a separate entity. So you just got to be mindful. If you need this car, I know it retains the history. Uh, well, not exactly history, but it changes the attributes but it is all the properties are a little bit different. So you just got to be mindful of the differences. Okay. So that is the break curve at key point tool and the join curves tool. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time.